हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू चैनल विजिट ओनर्स गेट वे टू डिजिटल एजुकेशन हाय आई एम शिखर यू साइंस टीचर आई एम हियर बिकॉज आई विल मेक यू फॉल इन लव विद साइंस सो गाइस इन आर वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर साइंस क्लासेस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज फोर्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास एट सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फोर्स वी विल लर्न डिफरेंट इम्पैक्ट ऑफ फोर्सेज we will cover different topics regarding force like we will discuss about what is a force how does force affect body we will look at contact and non contact forces their types direction and magnitude of force so we are going to learn all these in this video okay let us move on dear students tell me one thing what do you understand by force what actually a force is like if somebody gives you a punch what it will be will it be a force yes it will be a force basically a force is a push or pull like if we are pushing a door it is a force if we are pulling a box to move it it will be a force okay falling of an apple from tree will it also be a force yes it will also be a force so in short we can say that a force is just a push or pull in simple language we can define the force a uh, push or pull okay if we are pushing uh, something or we are pulling something then it means there will be a force is it clear okay another thing is that the standard unit of force is newton we can denote the newton by capital m just like uh, we can measure the distance in meter centimeter kilometer they all are the unit of distance na in the similar way the standard unit of force is newton we will say that 5 newton force we will apply 4 newton force we will apply so newton is the standard unit of force okay force can measure by using the spring balance you can use the device spring balance to measure the force is it clear okay fine okay dear students keep one thing in mind always keep one thing in mind that in order to apply a force we always need two objects or we can say that whenever force act two objects are involved the first one on which we apply the force and the other one who apply the force okay the first one is which apply the force and the other one which receive the force so there should be two object in order to apply a force we need always two objects we will clear this point by taking an example Uh, in order to kick a ball we need to push it okay in order to pick up a book we need to pull it so there should be an interaction between the two objects then only it will be for possible that a force will apply that we will apply a force okay let us understand what actually a force can do we will study about different effect of forces see there are some effect which we can see like a force can move an object from the rest whenever an object will be in rest position and we will apply the force then it will be move it can move okay second one a force can change the direction of an object a force can increase or decrease the speed of an object a force can change the shape of an object a force can bring an object at the rest okay if an object will be in motion and we will apply the force then it can bring the object at the rest position okay let us discuss each point one by one first of all let us see how a force can move an object from rest position i will clear this point by taking an example like there is a big box which is at rest okay and i have to move it so what will i do i will either push it very hard or pull it okay so it can move an object from the rest position so here we can see that whenever i will apply a force whenever i will push it or pull it then the object will start moving from the rest position so we can say that a force can move an object from the rest come to the second point a force can change the direction of an object you can see here in the figure like if a batsman is batting then what will he do he will hit the ball in the direction opposite to the ball coming to him means he is changing the direction of ball by applying the force 
so we can say that whenever we will apply the force or due to the force direction of an object can change you can see the another example also here is a ruler and when a ball will hit that ruler then after hitting it the ball will change its direction means when the force will be applied by the ruler then the ball will change its direction so we can say that due to the effect of force the direction of an object can change come to the third point a force can increase or decrease the speed of an object means when we will apply the force then they uh, it might be possible that there will be an increase in the speed of an object or it might be possible that there will be a decrease in the speed see dear students if the force applied on the object is in the direction of its motion Okay, means the direction of motion and the force both are applied on the same on a particular direction then what will happen the speed of the object will increase and just opposite to it if the force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of motion then it results in a decrease in the speed of the object for example when a person apply the brake in a car suddenly the car comes to rest okay with a decrease in the speed here also you can see that the force can slow down or slow down the moving bicycle by applying the brake another example is that in a field when a fielder catches the ball by by applying force the speed of the ball will also decrease so in all these example we can see that due to the force there can be increase in the speed of an object or there can be decrease in the speed of an object is it clear to everyone let us discuss another effect of force a force can change the shape of an object for example if we apply force on a balloon its shape will change here you can see in the figure that there is a ball and when we will press the ball by our hand then what will happen the shape of the ball will change so this is the effect of force you can see in another figure that there is a spring and when we will stretch the spring means when we will apply the force on the spring then the shape of the spring is changed so we can see or it is clear from these example from this figure from these figure that the force can change the shape of an object now come to next point a force can bring the object at rest you can see in the figure that there is a goalkeeper and whenever a goalkeeper catches the ball he actually stops it by applying force means due to the force applied by the goalkeeper the object here the ball will come at the rest position so we can say that force can bring an object at rest okay now let us discuss about direction and magnitude of the forces see dear student the force get added up when applied in the same direction for example i am pushing a trolley in a particular direction then my friend also join me and apply force in same direction don't you think we will be able to move that trolley more easily as i alone will do so here we can say that whenever the force will applied in the same direction they gets added up suppose uh, in this figure like there is a girl who is applying the force of 7 newton on the trolley and another boy who is applying the force of 10 newton in the same direction they both are applying the force in the same direction so what will happen their force will gets added up the resultant force will be 7 plus 10 equals to 17 newton so we can say that the force gets added up when applied in the same direction okay in the same way when the force are applied in the opposite direction then the net force is the difference of magnitude of the forces like if one person is applying a force of 6 newton in one direction and another person is applying a force of 8 newton in opposite direction then the resultant force will be 8 minus 6 equals to 2 newton means the forces will get subtracted in this case the force will act in the direction of higher magnitude of forces now let us discuss about the type of force basically force are of two types contact force and non contact force let us first discuss about the contact force dear students 
Contact force is a force that is applied by object in contact with each other. Means there should be a physical contact between the two objects to occur. Contact force is responsible for most of the interactions we experience in our daily life. Like picking up a textbook from the table, writing your name with a pen. They all are the example of contact forces. Uh, dear student, do you think you can uh, write your name without holding the pen? No, it is not possible. So there should be a physical contact between the pen and your hand. Then only you can write down on the paper. So this force is known as the contact force. Means there should be a physical contact. Muscular force, frictional force, they all are the type of contact forces. Let us first discuss about the friction force. See. Dear students, it is not possible that uh, our life will be possible. Our life is not possible without the friction. See, friction is basically is basically a force exerted by surface against the motion of a body. Friction is the reason why your car comes to a standstill if you don't press the accelerator. It is a friction force only. Who oppose the rotation of the wheel of your car? It is due to the friction that a ball rolling. Along the ground, gradually slows down and finally comes to rest. See, when we stop paddling a bicycle, it gradually slows down and finally comes to a stop. That is also due to the friction. See, the force of friction always acts in the opposite direction to the motion of the object. In the frictional force, uh, there will be a physical contact. Without physical contact, the frictional force is not possible. So that is why it comes under the category of contact forces. Okay. Now our next force is the muscular force. Dear students, let us see what a muscular force is. See, force resulting because of the action of muscles is called the muscular force. It is a muscular force only that helps us to perform various activities. That help animals to carry out their physical activities. For example, animals like camel, bullocks, they do various tasks for us. In order to perform these tasks, they use muscular force. Is it clear to all? Okay, now come to another type of force that is non-contact force. The force which acts on an object without coming physically in contact with it is called the non-contact force. Means in non-contact force, it is not required that there will be a physical contact between the objects. It is just opposite to the contact force. Magnetic force, electrostatic force, gravitational force, they all are the type of non-contact forces. Let us discuss each type of non-contact force one by one. Let us first discuss about the gravitational force. See, dear students, you all are aware that whenever leaves and fruits get detached from the plant, they fall to the ground. A coin falls to the ground when it slips off from your hand. This all is due to the gravitational force. Okay? See, basically what happens when object or things fall toward the earth? Why it fall toward the earth? Because, it, because the earth pulls them. A force of gravity is there. So, this force comes into play even when the body is not in physical contact with each other. That is why it is a non-contact force. That uh, don't you think that there will be, uh, there will not be any physical contact between the apple and the earth? There will not be any physical contact. They are far away. So, this force also comes under the category of non-contact force. Okay, come to the magnetic force. See, we all know that magnetic force is a force that attracts certain metal objects like iron towards a magnet. In magnetic force, a magnet can exert a force on another magnet without being in contact with it. So, it will also come under the non-contact force. For example, in class 7th, you have learnt that like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. Okay? In, order for, uh, in order for attraction or repulsion, we don't require any physical contact. There will not be any physical contact between the two poles of the magnet. So, this force also comes under the category of non-contact force. Now, our last force is electrostatic force. Let us see what electrostatic force is. See, when a charged body exert a force on another charged body or uncharged body, then this force is called an electrostatic force. For example, when a comb is rubbed with hair, there occurs a transfer of electron from here to the comb. 
Thus, the comb gets negatively charged. See, when the charged comb is brought near the bit of paper, it attracts the positive part of it. The positively charged body attracts a negatively charged body and repels a positively charged body without coming in contact. Hence, electrostatic force will also come under the category of non-contact force. Okay, dear students, this is all about the force. Hope you understand it well. For more videos, kindly subscribe our channel and keep watching our videos. See, if you are having any doubt or any query, you can ask in comment box. Thank you.